Today I'm going to show you how to get your DB Mega Bundle to work on the Wi-Fi step by step, uh, button press by button press. It's a very simple, straightforward process and we're going to walk you through. So just keep following the video and follow along as we show you exactly how. Okay guys, so here's step one. Okay guys, so you're going to need three things that were included in your bundle. So the first thing is going to be your DB Mega Hotspot itself, uh, the included Cat5e Ethernet cable, and then your AC to 12 volt uh, charger cable. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is plug your AC cable in the wall. And the second thing you're going to need to do is plug the 12 volt right into your DB Mega, like that. Three, you're going to take your Ethernet cable and plug it in right here. So, and four, you're going to take your Ethernet and plug it into your router, like that. And that is going to be it for the physical part of the setup. Okay guys, so now that you've got your DB Mega physically connected to both uh, the power and your router, um, what you're gonna do is, if okay, so if you already know the uh, how to access the IPs on your, on your router, on your uh, internet, then you can skip this step, but for everybody that doesn't, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your favorite web browser and you're gonna type in, you're gonna get this program called angryip.org, and you're gonna download Angry IP. And what this is gonna do for you is um, basically show you what uh, devices are connected to your network and their associated IPs, and this is gonna this is how you're gonna be able to access um, the Pi Star uh, setup window. So you're just gonna go in here uh, to the website, click free download, and then uh, there's gonna be some options. Just choose the 32 slash 64 bit uh, installer. This is gonna auto detect uh, whatever Java version you have. So just uh, save that somewhere. And uh, if you don't have Java, it'll prompt you, and then you can just go download it. But just just go through the setup process, super easy, just like getting anything else. And install that real fast. Okay, so now you're going to click the Run uh, IP Scanner, push Finish. It should run it. Okay, so here you are. Uh, super simple. You can ignore everything else. There, when you first initialize it, there may be some like uh, setup uh, windows that come up, uh, but you can just click through those. Don't worry about it. Uh, and just push start. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan all the potential IP addresses on your network and it's going to find what the associated devices are with each different IP. Okay, so you're going to let this go through the whole scan. And it'll tell you when it's done. See, scanning complete. There you go. So you're just going to scroll through here. You're going to look for uh, pi dash star. Okay, so there it is. Uh, right here, pi dash star. So on our network, it's uh, 192.168.2.65. Now, it will most likely be different on your network. Um, so you're just going to look for this pi dash star. So now that we have the IP, you're going to go back into your web browser, and you're going to type that in. So 192.168.2.65. You're going to push Enter. Okay, this is going to bring up the, uh, the pi star window, OK? So uh, after that, you're going to push configuration. Now it's going to give you uh, a window for the username and password. Now on, by default on all these devices, the username is pi dash star and the password is raspberry. Now all this stuff will be in the description of this video. So you click sign in. Okay. Now this is all going to be configured already. So you're just going to scroll, skip all this stuff, scroll right to the bottom and you're going to go to the wireless configuration tab. Okay. Um, so there's, this is going to be, it's going to probably look like it is right here because there's no networks uh, configured into it. So you're going to click configure Wi-Fi. Actually, before you do that, you can just scan for the networks that are, uh, that, that are available and your, um, your DV Mega will just automatically pick them up. Um, so it, it takes a few seconds. But see, we've got all these different networks available. Um, so for this example, uh, we're just going to select the Bridgecom network. So you can actually just select that. It'll bring it up, the SSID automatically. And then you're going to just have to type in uh, the associated password with that network. So you, I'll type in ours. Okay. And now after you type in the correct password, you're just going to click Save and Connect. And it'll, it's going to take a second, and then it'll say, um, like, right there, see Wi-Fi settings uh, updated and, and connected. And then you can, uh, you can ignore that. Okay, so now it should have saved this uh, Wi-Fi, and it should connect to it. And then you can also... You can also connect any additional Wi-Fi networks. Like say you want, like if this is your home Wi-Fi, you can push add it network and you can put in say like your, your uh, mobile phone or, or work or anything else. Same process uh, as before. 
Now to test to make sure you did it right, um, what you're going to do is actually X out of this window and you're going to go and physically unplug your DV Mega. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so after you physically unplugged it from the Ethernet, uh, unplugged the Ethernet cable, um, so the only way it can be on the Internet is through Wi-Fi, uh, you're going to go back into Angry IP and you're just going to click Start Again, push uh, Disregard Previous Scan Results, you're going to push Yes, because the IP uh, will have changed now that it's not on a wire connection and is on a wireless connection. So let this run again, and if it does detect it, that means that you've done it right. Okay, so you're going to scroll through your results again. See, there it is, PyStar, right there. Okay, so now it's switched from 6.5 to .2.39. So we'll just, again, go to a browser. Once you type in the correct IP, just push Enter, and then now you're in your uh, your menu, and it's it's good to go. So now it'll just you can use it uh, automatically with Wi-Fi. You no longer have to plug it in. And that's how you set up the Wi-Fi. I hope this helps. Um, if it didn't work for you the first time, please go back through the video and make sure you follow the steps correctly. If not, um, you can shoot us an email at contactus at bridgecomsystems.com, or you can call us uh, at our phones, 816-532-8451. All this information, all the relevant links are going to be in the description, um, probably below the video, and, uh, and you're good. So thanks, guys, for watching 7.3. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.